Frischburg is, is a land of opportunity, um, an opportunity that's never materialized because uh, of the unfortunate situation with the trains not stopping. It was always promised to us that we were going to be on the train schedule. But for some reason, God has not deemed it the right time. It's very simple. It's the train keeps passing by because all the stupid citizens of Fishburg offer is nothing of an interest to anybody in the big world. In Fishburg, people don't appreciate art. In the, in the, in the big world out there where the train goes, people do. So you see, they, they, they have to appreciate art. The story which we adapted was written uh, by Aleph Bet Yoshua, something that I always wanted to try to do, to do something that is absurd, driven in cinema. It was the unattainable, unaccomplishable project, actually getting a train and getting a train to crash. Of course, as such, I decided to sign on board. Just that idea of an isolated village that is obsessed with the train, that always passes but never stops. But just that moment when it passes is enough to give you hope. The concept of false hope is what I find most interesting about the story itself. And this is something that we all need. People motivate themselves to move through one day and go to the next. Where are the people on the train? Where are the people? Where are the people? What people? When the film opens, we want it to, to sound as if you are on the train. If you listen, there's, you don't hear any voices. And actually, at that very moment, when you're listening, you realize that nobody is on this train. We want it to remain placeless and periodless. People separated from the world, isolated in a small town, how they tangibly and mentally deal with that. These people from outside, on the train, they're going to stop one day and, and... The train is what will finally get me out of this dump and uh, enable me to... Uh, this is what I just finished today, by the way. Can you, can you see? We've all been working hard and we've all been putting forth our, our best efforts. There was about 100 people on set every day. And it's been a year and a half making a 20-minute short and the people on the train they'll notice that and they'll want to stop one of these days they will and uh, all our hopes and dreams will be fulfilled and we just we have to believe in that when we pitched the project to AFI that was like the main issue it's like the train you know everybody like the faculty even the fellows like oh that's this movie with the train how are you gonna do the train actually bringing in a train that was going to simulate a period train and be on our desired location was going to be prohibitively expensive and I think the first really crucial decision that we took as a team was to have the film at night. So what we decided to do is integrate a modern train um, and through the use of cinematography and the shots utilized actually make it look like a period train. So actually the train that you see as an audience member on screen is a 2006 I believe Metrolink. So night brings us like a lot of opportunities of like just seeing parts to play a lot with sounds to see silhouettes to play with light and to do light gags and light effects there's a few shots where you see the headlight off in the distance actually that's a pickup truck that we popped a 5k par on top of with a industrial two industrial smoke machines on the back of as i'm sure you can imagine metrolink has a little bit of an issue when you tell them you want to put a two-ton truck next to a 2000 ton train traveling at 50 miles an hour. In the end, we actually acquired the permits and uh, got it done. It's really hard to ask for like a group of 20 people to come for five nights in a row and to work the entire night in terrible condition outside freezing and give everything they have um, to make this place alive. And that's, that's a lot to ask. If the people do not feel like they like the project, if they don't like the story, if they don't feel somehow connected to, to what they're doing, then it's going to be really, really hard to get it out of people. I mean, nobody, nobody really has to do it. It was a great principal team. We've become very close over the last 18 months. We're going to continue to uh, hopefully work together. And uh, something there when we shot it, for me, was really great, that I felt that like they kind of enjoyed Fishburg and they enjoyed the, the stuff that they had to do and they had fun with it. And it shows. I mean, I think they all gave incredible performances and I'm, I, I can't thank them enough.